shot at doing this job. Okay, we rolling that shit. Let's go. It's your boy Mason Knight 323. We responded to a shooting call. Apparently there's an African American male shot multiple times. You know how many people talk crazy about what the fuck you do? Chris, me! of what it takes to do black press. Forty percent of the crime in California is here. It's gonna happen right up the street. And I get there before the police. These are my people. Hold up, y'all. Put down a knife. Put down a gun. Put it, you know, I'm like, hold up. They come. On a lot of calls. I stop a lot of stuff. Hey, hold up, hold up, I got him, sir, I got him. Hey, hold up, the police is here. Stop, <laughs> stop, 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 the police is here. Okay. Nigga, you tripping, okay. you hear me? Most cops, when they get out, they gonna just shoot you like the little girl with the knife. And that's why we have to be there when the call comes, straight up. Check in, check in, hard check in South LA. Allegedly a suspect is shot at the Inglewood PD. Gunshot victim, gunshot victim. We got a pursuit and progress. Is there somebody in the car? Yes. Three victims were transported to the hospital, including in Nipsey Hussle. My first story was at Washington High School. There was eight people that got shot in a mass shooting during a football game. And I was in my van and the call came out. Shooting at Washington High School sent me seven to eight ambulances. And I was right up the street. I didn't know what I was doing. I got out, I filmed all the transports. The news looked at me and said, can we buy that from you? buy it, what, what you, what, I'm thinking I can give it to y'all, I'm trying to help the community. And it made every news channel. And that's when I, when I started invoicing the news stations, going out to the community and doing it myself. Yeah, I'm ready to take y'all on the call or two. By now, I know I missed about three. I heard something, I was like, hmm. But yeah, any more questions, we better get ready to run them. Running in Western, running in Western at the Chevron gas station. Okay, we rolling that shit. Let's go. Oh, 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 they're knocking on the door. On the U-Haul. This came out as a kidnapping call. And we've been having a lot of kidnappers lately in the community. This is a big story for the movie. Now they're checking out the truck. Let's get a shot at the truck. So, there's nobody in the truck. Possible kidnapping. It didn't turn out to be nothing. So we get back down to our station waiting on the next boat. Shootings, they don't really air. Fires, uh, cats in the trees, anything that interests their community. When I say theirs, the, the white so-called, you know, interests. It would be very lucrative if shootings were something that they cared about, but they don't. So a lucrative conversation is out for them. Deputy involved by Vermont and one sixteen Countdown, somebody losing their life or not. They in a fight with the it's sheriff. Still in a fight. Still in a fight. I see if they gonna shoot him. Copy, the suspect is detained. 1022 all the code three. Unfortunately, these are the calls that we have to listen to every day. Thank you. 
I've been shot at doing this job. This guy started out was trying to roll up and do a drive-by, shot, shot the car. It could be a part of LA and admit it. You could be at a light, somebody don't like what you just filmed. They don't like you look like a cop. They don't like you know too much. Live every day with that moment of what would happen if you were to lose your life. They take you through this hazing if you're a press agent out in the field. Who are you? Where are your papers? Search your car. Take you to jail. And then you get out, you go right back to the same car. After you do this for so many years, the, the rookies come. And then they supposed to tell the rookies, hey, this guy already been shut down. We know who we are. But they don't do that. They treat you like you were nobody for the last 20 years. Yeah, I've been on more calls than half of them. Without a gun. I'm doing it because I felt my rights were violated. Don't Flint, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm Get out of here. I'm gonna break your fucking camera. Get out of here. I was doing my job. You came over to me. You pushed me. Hit me with a flashlight. That's assault. Then you slammed the pregnant uh, reporter on the ground and I taped. Then tried to prevent me from taping it. I have to keep it 100. We at the point where there's not going to be a change with the officers that we have. Y'all have already proven who y'all was. There's no trust. It will never be. Hey, hey, hey! We got counterlight. Put the law back into the hands of the citizens. And the citizens can start taking over the community doing citizens arrest, citizens patrols doing what I'm doing, jumping out at scenes, preventing scenes, and then if the feds are needed, they can get out, they can come from Hollywood, wherever they at, if we need them. So a lot of what the citizen has to understand is, the only thing that's stopping them from being or intervening is that they don't have a police camp. And FCC requires everybody to monitor these frequencies. So you can't tell me, you can't change your community. The only thing stopping you is your heart. So I'm not a superhero, what am I? I'm just somebody who's doing my part. Once each person in our community starts doing that, all the game bangers, all the people who don't game bang, all the elders start talking about you're a helpful individual in your community. It's a gang of conscious motherfuckers out here, bro. Right. You're one of them. Right. Thank you. you know how many people talk crazy about what the fuck you do? Right. But you know on the flip side of that, how many people respect what the fuck you do? Right. right. You gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Yes, sir. Rose what they got on the store. Right. right. To get with honey, what you gotta go through? A swarm of motherfucking bees. I love y'all. All right, you know. Are you running Postmates? Yes. Is there a drink? Is there a drink? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, so you're in between right now doing Postmates. Yeah, 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 I gotta get, get, get them their food. And uh, a lot of times this is how I, I get the gas money for, you know, what I do. Um, and I try to make sure I maintain an ear to the scanner as I do it as well. So the, it goes hand in hand with every day. You, a man should have money in his pocket as well as uh, do a just cause in this community every day by reporting news. Huh? Hey, hey, Mason! She's calling you. I think she wants to give you gas money or something. Ain't that the million hits? Yeah, it is. All right, bless me. Thank you. Thank you. So that's going to keep you going for another, another yeah, day, day or two. two. Yeah, a $20 bill. Thank you and to the community. Thank you all for donating for the news. All right, All right go, de go deliver that. All right, yeah, they are marked. Okay.
I'll see you tomorrow, though. All right. Thanks, bro. Well, when I started this job, it was an accident. And it's not even a job. It's more or less a responsibility at this point now because when I did stop, I found out that there was no information on it. So now I found myself, you know, wanting to know what happened as well. So I had to get back out there and pretty much make this my daily routine. So it's a way of life now to know the truth and know why things occur. And I think we need more press agents out in the field like myself with boots on the ground. And you definitely want to shoot, edit, record, sing, rap, die your story. All the way to the end. Be your story. And that's what this is all about. You know? If I could have thought of any other job or person to be, I wouldn't change it for money, for nothing because you're the one that separates the people from the police. They have to all come to you for their story. I didn't intend on anybody to see this side of, you know, true reality. Very touching, very uh, sad, but at the same time, uh, this is the reality of what it takes to do black press. They believe the dude that wrote on his wall is laying dead right now. It's another one of those calls, brother. All right. Good luck. Be safe yourself, please. Yeah, yes, sir. People need, people need you. 